Welcome to the 2019 Durham Holiday Parade. Bill Ray, Wes Hohenstein with you on what started off as a wet Saturday morning, but the rain has cleared and what has been a banner year for the city of Durham as they celebrate 150 years. We've got a big day today with the Durham Holiday Parade. Right, and we're all excited about it. You know, I took the walk down to the beginning of the parade. I can feel the excitement in the air, everybody getting ready. We've got marching bands. We've got so many cool cars and just a lot of cool floats coming our way. But it is nice the fact that the, the rain did end. It's a little chilly now, but I'm not expecting, we're not expecting any rain during the parade so that's great news yeah and we're happy to bring it to you right here on cbs 17 so without further ado more than 100 floats in this year's 2019 durham holiday parade how does it feel being the grand marshal wow what an exciting time now i i know you and everything and you've been a part of durham you i understand you just retired i just retired at the end of september after 20 years with uh, discover durham and is this your retirement gift that you're writing in yes <laughs> All right, you guys enjoy the parade. <laughs> what a beautiful car. Shelly Green, the parade marshal, everybody. I called you the grand marshal, but you can be grand parade marshal. These guys have a, a rough job. So this is your car? Dan oh, hi, Danielle. Good to see you again. So the beautiful car you have here. Nice. All right, well, carry on. She's carrying on. Wes has gone up to the stage because he's going to be, uh, I guess Wes is coming back to visit me here. All right, we're going to get ready for the next uh, vote. There's a, there's a man walking down the street. We go see what he's, what he's doing. Okay, they got to come to us. Now, hello? Now I've got two mics. <laughs> I've got two mics, and we're, they're going to come to us. So keep walking this way. Are you guys excited? Yeah! All right. And there's now the Grinch will not steal Christmas, right, Grinch? Uh oh. Uh oh. He's still cute. All right, here's Mayor Shule. We'll, we'll run and grab. I'm going to run up to him even though he's supposed to come to me. Mayor! How are you doing? Bill, how are you? I'm doing fine. Now, you, they, they didn't give you a car to ride in? I like to walk. Well, it is a good day for a walk. Gorgeous day for a walk. This is beautiful downtown Durham showing up for the parade. It'll be better. Amazing. The weather right before us. We have like the most amazing trucks, cars, marching bands, dancers, everything you would ever want. Are uh, you one of the dancers? Uh, yeah, I am. I'm <laughs> definitely one of the dancers. All right. All right, well, carry on. You, got, you, you still have a long walk to go. Well, I'm good. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. All right, and Bill, we'll continue up here. So All right, take it away, Wes. A couple of hours. Uh, Myself up here at the main stage, uh, Wes Owenstein from CBS 17. Your camera's and going along in and with, uh, Bill Ray, he will be our roving reporter. We'll be talking to uh, a lot of the floats as they come mics. by. Um, I would consider ourselves very lucky today. You know, Durham, North Carolina, temperatures are in the 40s. The rain has cleared. Can you believe there's another Durham in the United States? There's a Durham in North Dakota. It's close to Fargo. It's eight below zero in Durham, North Dakota right now. So can I get a round of applause for Durham, North Carolina and the 40s we have today. And let's say hello to our next float. Love your, there you go, love your suit. Having fun? This is our Durham City Council and an early runner for the best suit of the day, the candy cane. Boy, you're not going to have You can give candy? So Absolutely. Today. This is our Durham City Council. All right, thank you. We got candy! Oh, candy! Oh, God. Here comes the candy man himself. This is uh, Senator Floyd McKissick. Senator, good to see you this morning. One of the few times I've seen the senator without his camera, not only does he do a great job of uh, taking care of things here in Durham, but he's also a uh, photographer, and he's got a, a great ride today that he's choosing not to ride in. It's, it's brave on a morning like this to have a convertible with the top down, given the rain we've had. Next up, we have uh, Zach Hawkins. Zach Hawkins, state representative. He uh, is from District 31 here in Durham. 
That's him out in the crowd with the hat, shaking hands. Zach, good to see you. Happy holidays. Coming up next, uh, Representative Robert Rivas. He represents uh, Chatham and Durham counties in the North Carolina House of Representatives. Nice ride. Representative, good morning, happy holidays. Another brave soul with the top down on the convertible on a rainy Saturday morning. I just checked the radar and the rain has cleared the Durham area, so we should be able to go through the rest of the parade without a, a drop of rain. We even saw a little bit of sunshine peeking through earlier. This is our Durham Board of County Commissioners. Let's give them a big round of applause, followed right behind by the great men and women of the Durham Police Department. Good morning. Hi, everybody. men and women protecting us uh, this morning and throughout the entire year. Let's give a big round of applause to the Durham Police Department. Good morning, guys. Thank you for your service. Durham Police. but keeping us safe this morning and they are well represented in today's parade as we kick off the 2019 holiday parade uh, coming up next is the crime stoppers don't forget uh, anytime you see anything uh, strange happening around town you can always leave an anonymous tip at 919-683-1200 thank you durham crime stoppers you can learn more about them at durhamcrimestoppers.org to the parks today. We're in Parks and Rec, Wes. They're happy for the weather because they know they're not going to get wet. Bill, I've got to say, the squirrel on the back of the uh, Parks and Recreation float, uh, we shot a commercial with them to get ready for the holiday parade. It took us about 30 minutes to shoot a 30-second commercial. The mascot waved the entire time. So let's give a big round of applause to the waving abilities of everyone from the Durham Parks and Recreation. You know, they offer a variety of school age care programs, including after school, intercession, fun days, and summer camps. Programs offer a balanced mix of academic support, sports and recreation, and cultural activities for elementary, middle, and high school students. You can learn more about them. Hi, guys, at Durham Parks and Recreation. Hey, Wes, look, who, look who's here. Oh, we got their the fellow co workers. The anchors and reporters. Hey! Yes, 17. How's the ride been so far? Nice. We love waking at all the people. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. 
as you call it, the sun is coming out. It's going to be a nice day. All right, Steve Spurge, everybody, digging deeper for you. Don't forget the parade is streaming right now on CBS I'm Classic Bill. This is Bill Young, Young Bill. Hey, guys, Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you for coming out here. You all having fun? You staying warm? Yeah, another one that didn't go over so well. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you for being out here. Joanna. This lady's uh, My Carolina. What are we calling our show now? My Carolina. All right, My Carolina. There she is. Thank you guys for doing 12.55 on weekdays. There you go. You guys ever get mad at traffic? Yeah. Oh, it took me an hour to get from Durham to Raleigh yesterday. And that was at 2 in the afternoon. I'm Sounds like you didn't listen to my traffic report. This is Laura Smith, everybody. All right, let the float keep oh, moving, yeah. Bill. Oh, wait, I didn't even see the sign. Hold speaking, on. Speaking of traffic, Bill, you have to let the floats keep moving. I know, but wait, we got it. We got, we got Daphne the dog. Daphne the dog. Hey. Okay, you gotta start. They gotta start moving. Paul. Paul's here, everybody. Paul Hagen. How does Daphne like the float? Uh, she doesn't like the trailer hitch, otherwise she's fine. Okay. <laughs> she's a little scared. All right, you guys gotta keep walking. Give it a round of applause for our CBS 17. Yay! And guess. And for those of you who didn't hear, the, the parade is streaming right now on CBS17.com. So if you want to watch yourself on the internet or tell your friends and family to check them out, CBS17.com. Of course, our anchors and reporters from CBS17. There's Marius and Joanna and Steve. And hi, guys. There's Zach and Bill. And uh, Bill will be up at about 2 a.m. on Monday morning to bring you the news starting at 4.30. If he falls asleep at any point during the parade, someone just make sure to kind of give him a nice bump. Right behind right, that is the weather here. beast. I get to drive in this a lot. It's the weather beast, everybody, and Felicia Bolton. Felicia Bolton is uh, driving in the weather beast. How's the beast today? Beast is pretty good today. Pretty good. A lot of people have been thanking us for stopping the rain. Wasn't our team, but we did keep a close eye. CBS 17 is definitely paying attention. All right, you guys. Enjoy the weather beast. We got cameras, we got radars, we got satellites on top. This thing went to Hurricane uh, Dorian this summer. Steve Frazier was down there. It can go everywhere, but fortunately, it doesn't have to go anywhere today except the parade because the weather is nice. So the CBS 17 weather beast with its uh, homemade license plate. Wes? You know, one thing we, we really, really wanted when we got the weather beast was a sunroof. But with all that equipment we have on top, we couldn't make it happen on a day like today. We could have used it. Again, there's the CBS 17 Chevy Weather Beast. And there's one of our photographers, George, driving. I'll nominate him for one of the best dressed in the parade this evening. He's got a great uh, sports coat. I'll have to see if I can borrow that for the news next week. Christmas, man. Hey, Sheriff. Nice to see you. Feeling good. You want people moving. Hey, Wes, we got this. Wes? We got the sheriff right here, Sheriff Burkhead. Now, do you really come to people's doors if they don't show up for jury duty? Uh, I have somebody that will come to your door. <laughs> <All right. laughs> nice ride, man. Thank you for your service. Let's give a great round of applause to Sheriff Burkhead, his deputies, detention officers, and staff serve the residents of Durham County, the entire county. More than 80% of the services the sheriff Merry offices Christmas, sheriff. provides directly benefit the people living right here in the city of Durham. Of course, they have to take care of the entire county. It's a big county. 
and we're happy to have the sheriff with us this morning. Sheriff, we're going to look into maybe getting you a vehicle that you can take that's a convertible on the road. How, how does that sound? Yes. I mean, it would be much more fun to get pulled over by a, a sheriff's officer in a convertible than in a regular, but I know none of us have that problem, but we appreciate all the work you and your deputies do. Let's give them a big round of applause as the parade continues on. Next up is Durham Families for Peace. We want to thank them for being here. Good morning, guys. We got some music stations coming right now, Wes. Can they play anything better than the chicken dance, which is what we're listening <laughs> to right now? I mean, K97.5, you know, can you play something better than the chicken dance? Now listen, I'm, I'm not saying, I mean, the chicken dance stands the test of time. You could play it at a holiday parade. I think we played it at my wedding. <laughs> I mean, I was, Bill, you were listening to the chicken dance on the way over, you were telling me. Oh, well, yeah. Yes, I was. So we've got the light, 103.9 FM. And then, as I mentioned, oh, yeah. K97.5, hiphopmc.com. Then, of course, the station that's been around forever, Fuck That. This is going out to all my MCs. On 107.1. What, what are you playing in here? You got music going on in here? Yes, I do. I am. I'm playing our future station, K97.5. All right. She's playing the cars ahead of us. All right. Sounds good. Merry Christmas. As we wait for uh, the parade, what, what are you ladies doing today? Are you enjoying the parade? Where are you from? What's your name? Uh, my name is Maya. Sumi. Annika. And what do you like best about the parade? Seeing people. That's good. Seeing people. And right now, Wes, who are we seeing? All right, next up, Bill, we've got the South Durham Little League, SDLL, the charter member of the Little League International. It's an all-volunteer baseball and softball organization with more than 700 players annually. Here's a few of them. Let's give them a nice round of applause. Hi, guys. How are you? Good morning, ladies. Looks like the South Durham Little League. Don't Harris record this. Champions. The Astros are coming through. Don't record this, the Astros. For baseball fans, you'll know what I'm talking about. Wes, you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, we've got several of the uh, South Durham Little League teams represented. Oh, oh! oh it's no. the Cubs! Yes, it's for carrying the trophy, Wes. Wes is a big St. Louis Cardinal fan. I love the Cubs. Look at this! You guys the champions? Yeah! All right, Cubs win! Cubs win, Wes! We just made Bill's Christmas dreams come true. <laughs> For those of you who didn't hear it, uh, Bill Ray, who's our roving reporter down in the streets uh, from CBS 17, is a, a lifelong Cubs fan. And me up here in the booth, 
I'm meteorologist Wes Owenstein. In case you're just arriving, I'm a lifelong St. Louis Cardinals fan, and, and those teams like each other about as much as Duke likes UNC. more champions here. Coming up next is the seven to eight year old North Carolina State champions from the South Durham Little League. Let's give them a big round of applause. You can't miss them. They're in the orange as they walk down our performance area here in the 2019 Durham Holiday Parade. Wait, hold on. Durham Free K. We're switching to Free K after baseball. Again, this is the Durham Head Start and the Early Head Start program. Happy holidays, guys. Good to see you. Coming up next is the Jordan High FFA. The Jordan High School FFA is a student-led leadership organization that allows students to explore various careers and opportunities in the agricultural sector. That's my uh, wife and daughter's uh, high school, Wes. Jordan High School. You're very familiar. Here's the Healthy Start Academy. The Healthy Start Academy is North Carolina's first public charter school and is located in the historic west end of Durham and will be accepting new student enrollments beginning January 6, 2020. Let's give a round of applause for these dancers. She's looking for candy in the... Uh, when the con congressman came by earlier. Oh my gosh, now I can't find the candy. Yeah, false promises. I don't know where the candy is. Keep looking. Well, there's candy cane. You know that, you know that, the, uh, what did Elf used to say? The, the, the fruit, candy cane, candy cane. Coming up next, Hike for Hope team. Hi. The Hike for Hope team at the New Hope Church will be climbing at Mount Kenya, the second tallest mountain in Africa. They'll be doing this to raise money for the Hope Center, which serves children living in poverty in Kenya. All right, the Dance Theater South is up next. They have built a reputation for excellence in dance instruction from your child's first class to their graduation performances. The Dance Theater South has a class for everyone. And in case you missed them, they're the team in pink this morning. Let's hear it for them.
right, our next float is the uh, men and women from the AARP. This is uh, chapter 189 right here in Durham. They do a great job of taking care of all of us and helping us find our way through life as we start to uh, get, should I say, wiser. Not older, because we're all young this morning. Happy holidays, AARP. Thanks so much for being here. And right behind them is the group from Book Mobile. Don't forget, uh, the Book Mobile is part of the Durham County Library, taking library services to the community. So sometimes you can't make it to the library. The library comes for you. Here's their mascot, Booker. Booker meeting the Grinch, maybe, for the first time. That was an, that was an unusual meeting. There's Durham County Library and Book Mobile. Hi, guys. Thanks for being here. Happy holidays. Right, up next is the Central Park School for Children's Step Team. This is a middle school step and dance team, and they're going to do a little performance for us. Let's hear it for the Central Park School Children's Step Team. done ladies all right Durham County Commissioners Commissioner Burns she's uh, running let's give her a big round of applause that's Nimishina Burns, everybody, for uh, Durham County Commissioners. And then right after that, we have Bike Durham. Bike Durham promotes policy, infrastructure, education, and community events to make Durham more equitable, empowering people of all ages to bike and walk more. Let's hear it for Bike Durham, everybody. And I'm sure they would like me to point out that notice how they're all wearing their helmets. That's the only way to protect that coconut on top of your uh, neck there. Wherever you're biking, make sure you have those helmets on. Thanks, guys, for being here. How's your bike? Is this bike too big for you? Perfect. It's perfect. Bike, find, hey, Bill Ray, find out about those giant tires she has on her bike. Yeah, where, where can you go with these tires? You can practically go anywhere. All right, those are huge. Oh, the biggest car tires. And right after Bike Durham, we have the Lincoln Community Health Center. Lincoln is a federal qualified health center that has served Durham and surrounding counties since 1971. They provide primary and preventative health care now at eight locations in Durham. That's Lincoln Community Health Center. Riverside High School, the Marching Pirates are coming up next. The Riverside Marching Pirates, Pirates provide music and school spirit on Friday night football games. They prepare a competitive field show. They also participate in, get this, local holiday parades. We're happy to have the Marching Pirates here with us at the 2019 Durham Holiday Parade. doesn't want us going this far.
right, and right behind our Pirates, we have Eastway Elementary School. The cheerleaders from Eastway Elementary School are a growing Durham, growing Durham future and meeting and exceeding growth. Let's give a big round of applause for Eastway Elementary School. We have the Durham Nativity School. It's a private school here in Durham. Their goal is to make sure young men have the resources to attend, to attend independent schools for free or low cost. They offer smaller classes, more one-on-one -on -one teacher time, and community service opportunities. This is the Durham Nativity School. Gentlemen, good morning. How are you guys? Happy holidays. Dare to dream big, never give up, and strive to excel, the Durham Nativity School. All right, coming up next, we have the Durham Housing Authority. They're in the train. You know, Durham, the town of Durham just celebrated 150 years. The Durham Housing Authority is celebrating their 70th birthday this year. Hi, guys. Good morning. All right, coming up next, we have our friends at ABC 11. I see Tisha. I see Mark. Let's give them a big round of applause. Hi, guys. How you doing? Are you, are you doing this Facebook living it? I am Facebook living it. How you doing, Bill? I'm doing fine, Anthony. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, man. Hey, John Clark. Nice to see you. Jo I got a Bill. Who's been on TV longer here? You or John Clark? Me. But I remember when John Clark started. And that's right. Like 20 or 30 years ago. I worked with him. ABC 11 is an owned and operated station. They're licensed right here in Durham, North Carolina, owned by the Walt Disney Company. Don't forget you That's can catch them on ABC 11 and ABC11.com. So we've got a little break, Bill. Yes, this is do. where this is where we're getting paid the big bucks to Alrighty. entertain the crowd. All right. You know, let's see what's going on. Okay. Well, we talked to these girls before, but we didn't have the camera on them. So once again, how's the parade been so far? Really good. Fun, fun. Fun, 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 fun. How you doing? What do you got in your bag? You got some food? Yeah, just a little bit. French toast. French toast. That'll keep you warm. And here comes the band. Coffee, coffee. Purple coat. How, look at this. We got some beautiful dogs here, Wes. Are they twins or triplets? They all mommy, the same. daddy, and the puppy. All right, mommy, daddy, and the puppy. Look at this. A dog family. We told you Durham's holiday parade's a family event, and there you go. Oh, we got some music coming now. Bill, earlier, I, I need to make an addendum to my statement earlier. You know, earlier we talked about there is a Durham, North Dakota. There's yeah. also a Durham, Montana. Well, there's a Durham, New Hampshire, too. Durham, New Hampshire. Durham, Montana is close to the Canadian border, so it's another, I'm sure it's another fine <laughs> town of Durham, but we're much happier being away from the Canadian border That's on a morning right. like this as we get ready for our, uh, our next group in the 2019 Durham Holiday Parade. It's Batala Durham. Batala Durham is a samba reggae percussion band, and we will let them entertain us. Get to drum? What was that? You don't get to drum? I uh, know, I'm just helping them out. <laughs> All right, coming down the way next is the Dickerson Fencing Company. And by my calculations, they have the largest truck so far in the parade. Is it bigger than the Weather Beast? I, just by a little bit, and with no surprise, Dickerson Fence also has a fence around their parade. Oh, Perfect we got setting. Too.
Coming up after Dickerson Fencing is Budget and Management Services Department. They develop and oversee the city's annual budget and capital improvement plan. Are you carrying actual pennies on you? So you, somebody asks you a question, you'll give them a penny? Oh, wow. I wish I had a penny. See? There you go. We often take, you know, sanitation for granted, but they come every week and they take our garbage, the recycling comes, and their machines are amazing. They're all automatic. They come out with the big claws, they take it, they dump, and they move on. It's very efficient, so very thankful for that. Yep, this is the Durham Solid Waste Management from the city of Durham, and they now have the largest truck in the 2019 holiday parade so far. I've got to say, one thing I notice every time the garbage trucks come by is, you know, while it's dirty on the inside and sometimes, you know, doesn't smell the best, the outside of the, the waste trucks are always really clean. we got some performers now. This is the Kip Durham Marching Pride, students from 5th to 8th grade. A disciplined, clean, and confident group. Let's let them entertain us. What's a Zuzzy? What's a Zuzzy? Zuzi, yeah. oh, I called her. Oh, hi, Zuzi. Sorry, apologize. I got, I got she has did she bring any chicken? Uh, no, we did not. Oh, okay. some, some though, you know, on Roxborough Road. That's where you guys are. Yeah, North right. Roxborough. It'd be a good day for some hot food. Right. Great job, the, um, the young men and women from KIPP. After that, we have uh, Zaxby's and their chicken, who is, I'm sure, very warm today. Thanks, Zaxby's, for being here. And right after them is March for Our Lives, North Carolina. It's a youth-led yeah, organization March. trying to end gun violence. March for Our Lives Durham as they try to end gun violence across all Oh of my North gosh, Carolina. look at this, Wes! The First Presbyterian Church walks on their hands! Oh! oh. Nice! How, how, how do you do that, man? How, how athletic are you? I mean, how often do you have to practice? A little bit of yoga, Tai Chi, get flexible, you know. Uh, yoga's great, here he goes again! All right, after the First Presbyterian Church and their hand walkers, we have the Durham Association of Educators. They're an NSAAE affiliate, the Educators Union, and again, we're happy they're here with us, and we're happy that they help uh, raise young men and women all across North Carolina. Thank you guys for being here.
right, coming up next in this bus, the hard hat guys, Duke football tailgate bus. Is David Cutcliffe on the bobblehead? Yes. Oh, there's the David Cutcliffe bobblehead right there for the Iron Duke, for the Duke Blue Devils. They made it. They did make a bobblehead, Wes. They did. Do you have a bobblehead of you? I do not. Yeah. Do you? And no. No, yeah, but I David Cutcliffe does. You know you've made it big in life when you have your own bobblehead, and that's on the dashboard of the hard hat guys. All righty. You gonna do a little performance for us? Can you get down? We'll get down in front of West, and you can do a little performance for him. All right. Here's the Fever cheer and dance. They are national champions. The Dynasty All Star Dancers teach youth about sisterhood and dedicate time and love to children by mentoring them and saving one child at a time. Let's let them entertain us this morning. Okay. Wes, what do we have here? <laughs> We're gonna let the Dynasty uh, cheer and dance team perform for us. All right, now I get it. Raging Bull Harley Davidson, a local Harley Davidson dealer dealership located right here in Durham, North Carolina. I like how they have their bike all lit up with the uh, lights, Wes. That's pretty cool. All right, coming up, the Southern Durham High School marching band, marching Spartans. Come on down in front of Wes and do a little performance, everybody. Yeah, they travel all across the state doing a variety of performances, and we are happy to have Southern Durham High School entertaining us this morning. Does the Grinch want to show us a trick on the board? Yes! Hand on, you want to try it? Oh, these tricks are amazing, Wes. Take it away. All right, here comes again. This is the Durham Long Boarding. You can learn more about them on their website. Oh! I'm here! Help me! 
I will, I will. April 1st, 2020. All right. Where does time go, Wes? It just seems like 10 years ago we did a census. That's right, every 10 years. So when you uh, see people knocking at your door next year, don't forget. The more people we can count, the better represented we are in our government, both locally, across the state, and nationally. Slow down just a second so they can separate, because you're going to get all Yeah, can you believe that we only have about two weeks left in this month, this year, and this decade? Coming up next is PAC 424. They're definitely in the holiday spirit. Hi, guys. Hi, girls. You got Immaculata's pack right there, right behind them. conservation and home life. Up next, we have the law offices of uh, John Orcutt. You see his commercials on CBS 17 and many others. If you have help with Here comes debt, a Christmas tree, Wes. He can help get you out of some bankruptcy. The We've got our willow. It's our first Christmas tree, I believe. Are you a frog? She must be a frog. Okay, we, have, we have our first jogger going by, Wes. Why aren't you jogging along with him, getting a play-by-play -play for us? <laughs> He's too fast. All right, coming up next, we have the economic and workforce development from the city of Durham. They're well represented. You can take their survey. Check them out on Facebook at Tell Ed. Tell E D. That's the City of Durham Economic and Workforce Beautiful Development here. Group. We have some pageant winners here, Wes. Right away, Bill. So to tell us about your pageant. My name is Perusha Jones Sharon. I am the co-founder and director of Miss Full Figure North Carolina Pageant. We are a pageant system for full figure women, ages 18 to 60, size 12 and over. All righty. Congratulations, beautiful car, beautiful ladies. All right, Miss Full Figure, North Carolina. Good morning, ladies. Looking great, looking great. How's my pageant wave? Wonderful. Hi. The Miss Full Figure North Carolina pageant is a beauty pageant that focuses on embracing the beauty within, and we are happy to have all these beautiful ladies with us this morning. All right, here comes Lowe's Grove Middle School. They're with the drumline and the Golden Goddess dance team. They're backed by popular demand. Let's let them entertain us this morning.
7 Eleven. We love your. We, you guys have any cookies on board here? Because we love your cookies. No. Oh, all right. Wes, we've got the Girl Scouts coming by. You have any cookies? Not yet. Yeah, not yet. It's going to be soon. Yeah, this is Girl Scout Troop 7 Eleven. Ladies, thanks for uh, being here today. They're sponsored by oh St. Joseph's AME Church. All right, earlier we had the CBS 17 Chevy Weather Beast. Why didn't we get this thing as the Weather Beast? <laughs> we could plow the roads with this thing if we had it on the Weather Beast. This is the City of Durham Public Works Department. You know, these are one of the many great services from the City of Durham that we probably take for granted, but keeping our roads safe and clear, very important. The Public Works Department maintains city streets by repairing asphalt and concrete, litter control, storm water infrastructure maintenance, repair and street sweeping services, all the stuff that we love to have, we hate thinking about it. We're very happy to have the Public Works Department here with us today. Up next is the Citizens Dis Diplomacy Sister Cities like of one. Durham. Thanks guys for Citizens Diplomacy for being here. Sister You're from Russia? I am from Russia. Oh, all right, we have somebody right here. What, what's your name? Laura. Laura's from Russia. We just saw one of the sister cities. What was the name of the city? Kostroma. Kostroma. So yes. how far, you know, now we always think, like when people say they're going to the United States, it's everywhere. Like, right. Is anywhere close to where you're from? Because no. Russia's a huge Yes, it is country. huge. I'm from St. Petersburg. Okay, St. Petersburg. Oh, that's a beautiful city, yeah, right? Yeah, it is, yeah. All right, so what, what are you now living in, in the United States yeah. or just visiting? No, 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 we live here 15 okay. years now. All righty. Yeah. Well, enjoy the parade. Thank oh, there's a, there's another sister city that's not quite Russian. No, it's not. What, what city are you? Sister city of? Celaya, Guanajuato, Mexico. From Mexico, Wes. Durham, the city of Durham, North Carolina in the United States has many sister cities across the United States, so we're happy to have them represented here today. Good okay. morning, guys. Feliz Navidad, yes. Beautiful costumes, look at that, it's just gorgeous. Bill, we've reached an important milestone in the morning just to kind of check in with everyone. Again, if you're uh, just arriving here at the performance area, my name is Wes Hohenstein with CBS 17, our roving reporter on the streets, meteorologist Bill Ray. We're just past 11 o'clock, Bill, and we're all the way up to 47 degrees. Well, I'm telling you, that 47 feels a lot warmer than the 47 with the rain yesterday, so yeah. we'll take it. Well, and for those of you who were at the Durham Holiday Parade last year, you remember how cold that was? It was sunny, so but it we're was doing cold. A lot, we're doing a lot better this yeah, year. Yeah, I think it's better. Oh, we have another sister city, Wes. This time, Greek Baklava. Right. How, how are you? you? Fine, how you doing? All righty. It's a lot of fun. You having fun? We, yeah, we got nine countries represented. All righty. Durham has a lot of sister cities, Wes. It's a big family, and here comes Japan. Coming up next, we have the District 24 Queen. Everybody practice your pageant waves. You will be checked. Give her a wave back. Good morning. How's my pageant wave? Am I okay? Oh, no, you're okay. You guys look great. This is the Order of the Eastern Star from Durham, North Carolina in the 24th District. Thanks, guys, for being here. The elves have arrived. Good morning.
All right, up next we have this. Rebels Dance, let's give them a nice round of applause. They focus on sisterhood, self-confidence, helping others, and the power in believing of yourself. That hey, Wes, Rebels you wouldn't Dance. think about it. Oh, I'm sorry. You wouldn't think about it from yesterday's rain, but we always have to conserve water, and here's Water Management Team of Durham. Yeah, up there is Wayne Drop. That is their mascot. Durham Water Management's 350 employees deliver fresh, clean, and great tasting water to more water. than 200,000 people in the city oh. and county of Durham. This is Water Management, the city of Durham Water Management. sure if anyone can see but riding shotgun with the city of Durham water management that little guy is taking a nap so all are yelling and screaming and he's just sleeping right on through it here come the bull city purple stars Beautiful color purple. All right, coming up next, Bull City Purple Stars. The Bull City Purple Stars is a dance team led by Angela Featherstone. Their goal is to teach, nurture, protect, and help the kids achieve goals met not just by them, but what's in the community. Let's hear it for the Bull City Purple Stars. Those are sardines? Okay. All right, Purple Stars, great job, ladies. Let's give them a big round of applause. Wes, we got the European sardines. Take it away, Wes. You can, I got some sardines, though, I'm telling you that. Not American or Asian sardines, but no, the European, European sardines. Yeah, hand-packed in Portugal. Thank you for the sardine. Look at sardine head. I will say this has got to be the most original. <laughs> Indeed it is. And, and the most original vehicle. And they're giving away sardines. Center, our neighbors right down the street. Deepak has a lot of great shows coming up from a Christmas carol to Dancing with the Stars. All right, La Que Bueno and TUDN Latino radio station here in town. What's a snow me? What's a snow me? Uh, and you're pulling the sign that says after school snow me. Snow me means us. Us. All right. The snowmen of the snow me's. So we got after school here, Wes. 
Lots of them. Up next, we have the City of Durham Parks and Recreation Care Programs. They offer a variety of school-age care programs, including after-school intercession fun days and summer camps. Programs offer a balanced mix of academic support, sports and recreation, and cultural activities for elementary, middle, and high school students. Let's hear it for the City of Durham Parks and Recreation Care Programs. Coming up next, we have Beyond Fences, a nonprofit providing services and support for people and pets in underserved areas right here in Durham. Bill, take it away. So now tell us your, your organization, you help animals. We help people take care of their pets. Well, is that, they, and pets need a lot of taking care of sometimes. That's right. All righty. Well, great cause. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Oh, let's hear it for Beyond Fences. Hi, guys. Good to see you. Tax man? <laughs> they do taxes, Wes. You know, that's going to be coming up soon. Superior Tax Services is next promoting health business relations celebrating 10 years of business right here in Durham. Yeah. Yeah. Superior Tax like Services. Up next, after Superior Tax Services, our friends over at WRAL and WRAL.com. Bill, see what's going on up there. Hi, guys. What do you think? We got the rain out of here for Durham. Yeah, you know, the rain held off. It's a fantastic day. Festive atmosphere. We love it. All righty. Gerald Owen? Yeah. How's, How's it going? going? Happy holidays, man. It's great to be out here. I can. Best day to be in Durham. Happy holidays. Yeah, we love it. How you guys doing? Are you holding the, you holding the float up? Yeah. <laughs> WRL.com. Hi, guys. More Girl Scouts coming your way. Trying to save some plastic. All right, Troop 21. Hi, girls. How are you? Good to see everybody. Don't forget, we're trying to save the sea turtles. Cut your soda can holders. Try to cut down on the amount of plastic. Don't let balloons fly away. Things like that is how we can save our oceans. And while we wait on our next performers to come by, I want to take a minute to thank everybody who made today possible from the city of Durham, as well as the Durham Parks and Recreation Department. Of course, CBS 17, Durham Magazine, Spectacular Magazine, Radio One, and iHeart Media Radio in Raleigh, Univision Channel 40, Unamas Raleigh, and Renewal by Anderson. Don't forget the Durham Parks and Recreation Department. You can learn more about them at dprplaymore.org. Our next group.
All right, let's hear it for the Dynasty All-Star Dancers. They teach youth about sisterhood and dedicate time and love to children by mentoring them and saving one child at a time. Hey, Wes, it's Durham Transit, so let's let them... Bill, somehow you have found your way onto a city bus. I have. Did you pay your fee? It, yeah, here we go. I'll, I'll owe you later. Yeah. She said I can pay her later. So, driving around Durham, great great time? Yes, very great. 20 years. Yeah. Uh, congratulations. All right, well, to, when they move, I'm going to try to see how good of a driver you are, and you can take me down to just a, a few feet. So go ahead. Let's try it. Oh, you got to close the door? Oh, they got to close the door. I don't know if you can. Okay, well then. All right, now I'm inside. We're never trapped see inside Bill the bus. Again, but this is all part Can't. of uh, Go Durham. All right, here we go. This is nice. This is Durham's public transportation provider. Bill, any right. chance? And I'm willing to offer, you know, a, a donation. Any chance they'll let you drive the bus? Well, any chance I can drive the bus? No, no. No, you smart decision. That's a smart decision. She is a licensed train. You don't mess with her. All right, you can let me out now. Bill, you have to wait till the next stop. What? And as she said, watch my step. Watch hey, your step. Thank you. Awesome. Let's give a big round of applause for Go Durham, connecting the full city all over. Just let me drive. All right, and up next, this is Ultra Realty Incorporated. They deliver a complete suite of real estate services that will provide ultra care, ultra service, and ultra results. Ultra professionalism and ultra services means an unforgettable ultra experience from Ultra Realty Incorporated. And then we have Univision Channel 40 of North Carolina. It's the first Spanish language newscast in North Carolina. You can watch their news Monday at 6 p.m. and 11 for all of the day's biggest stories. Let's hear it for Univision Channel 40. We have the Boys and Girls Clubs of Durham and Orange Counties. They've been in Durham since 1939. The club offers affordable after-school programming and summer camp to kids ages 6 to 18. That's the Boys and Girls Clubs of Durham and Orange Counties. Up next, we have Natalie Murdoch, Democrat for Senate here in North Carolina. Hi, Natalie. How are you? Natalie's got her raincoat on. Take that off, girl. There's no rain anymore. I gotta go bowling. Hey, I gotta try to bowl. I, I All right, here's the YMCA of the Triangle. Let's give it up for them. Hi, guys. Hey, Wes, I'm gonna give it a shot here. You think I can get a strike? You're gonna bowl. Bowling on Main Street. All right, here we go. All right, it's a sticky ball. How did it jump? I've never had my bowling ball do that. It jumped right over. I gotta go for this. I gotta go for the spare, and I'm gonna keep it low. There we go. It's the split. Oh, I lost my glass. Split split roll. Split. Greg. Bowling League, established in uh, 2007. Bowling's a lot of fun. That looks like fun, but bowling is a good time. That was a good shot. Oh, oh sure. good. thank you. Wes. And the bowling you're seeing is from Village Lanes Splits Creek Bowling League. Village Lanes features 
this bowling league. If you'd like more information, you can check out Village Lanes right here in Durham. Bill, you know, as the bowlers come by, I, I, I consider one of the greatest achievements of my life when I was in high school, I convinced my parents to let me take a class about bowling and golf. Wow. And got, I got like a B. You got a B. Well, I got a B. B is good. And right, we got some cheerleaders coming up here, Wes. Don't you give me all that job about things you wrote before I was alive. Cause this ain't 1823, ain't even 1970. Now I'm the guy named Curtis Blow. And Christmas is one thing I know. So every year, just about this time, I celebrate it with a rhyme. Here come the Durham Diamonds. Precious gems for you. We've also had Champions in Motion come by. It's a nonprofit organization that provides affordable, competitive cheerleading for youth ages 4 to 18, starting at only $9 a week. You can learn more about them on Facebook. That's Champions in Motion Durham. Some more first responders, the Durham County paramedics. You know, we've been honoring first responders all across Central North Carolina since March. To the police, the fire, EMS. Couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you very much. Hi there. Yeah, this is Durham County Emergency Medical Services. Don't forget when you see them in your rear view mirror, make sure you uh, leave them space in the road so they can serve our friends and family who are in need here in Durham County. Up next is Durham County Department of Social Services. They're celebrating 100 years of service in the Durham community. Here's the Durham County Risk Management and Occupational Health and Safety Group. Hi guys, good to see y'all. Merry Christmas. All right, up next is the RDU Mopars, Modern Mopar Car Club that participates in charity work local and national car shows and community service. Let's give a big round of applause for the hot rods of RDU Mopars. Joining us next in the 2019 Durham Holiday Parade, the Bethesda Christian Academy. It's a ministry of Bethesda Baptist Church in the heart of Research Triangle Park. Their goal at Bethesda Christian Academy is to provide the best education possible in a loving, Christ-honoring atmosphere. And their cheerleaders are here with us this morning. Good morning, ladies. Hi. Hi, everybody.
All right, thank you, Bethesda. Good to see you guys. Up next is the General Davy chapter of the NSDAR, the Daughters of the American Revolution. Thanks for being here this morning. Love your outfits. You look great. We got some radio stations coming now, Wes. Yep. Yep. Coming up next, these are, this is the group from iHeartRadio. B93.9, New Country. There's G105. Tri-County Football and Cheer Organization coming your way. Football and Cheer Organization between ages 5 and 12. Their goal is to provide an instructive environment to youth as well as fielding a competitive team that enjoys success locally and they even travel regionally. That's Tri-County Football and Cheer Teams. They're guided by their volunteer team. We've got our first tractor in the parade. Bill Ray, that's got your name all over it. I <laughs> know. All right. What now? Yeah, we, I appreciate you guys and not running me over with this big tractor. That's right. This is Reality Ministries, Bill, where friends with and without disabilities can grow together. Let's give them a big round of applause. This is number 91. How old is that tractor? Almost as old as you are. Up next, we have DW Taxes and Financial Services. You guys are festive. Where, where did you get the hat? The boss got it for us. Ah, the boss the got boss. it for you. DW Taxes and Financial Services. Up next, we have the Allegro Dance Center and their performers. Now, Allegro means what? Allegro means lively and spirited. I think they're lively and spirited, don't you, Wes? I do. All right, and coming up next after Allegro, we have Epic Cheer and Dance Academy. It was established in 2016. They offer a unique opportunity for young people to pursue cheering and dance. These are the young men and women of Epic Cheer and Dance Academy. Hey, Willie, Willie. Wooly Bull! Everybody, the Durham Bulls are up next. Bill, what do you got? I don't know. Willie doesn't really speak very loud, but Willie is ready for another baseball season. And you're ready for Christmas? I see you have your Christmas blue on. Yeah, he's got Santa blue on there. Are you give, going to give some gifts to some children, right, Wooly Bull? Yeah. Oh, there, he wants a hug. The Durham Bulls are already getting ready for the 2020 baseball season. They'll be celebrating 25 years at the Durham Bulls Athletic Park. 
and they would love to see you come out. The season is right around the corner. I can't believe it's been 25 years. I remember when the park opened. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful minor league park. It's one of the best in the country. geared toward teaching self-love, self-worth, and love of community with a sports regime of football and basketball. Check them out, Bull City Bulldogs. I got a big trophy. Hey, Wes, I think we got some high steppers coming your way. Yeah, this is the Bull City High Steppers marching from Durham. Let's let them entertain us and give them a round of applause. They're good. Basically. Oh, look at look at look what they're doing now. <laughs> the Bull City Steppers. I don't know about y'all, but I am tired after just watching them. One of the more Y'all just sit down for a minute, because after watching that, I need to catch my breath. Yeah, it was a, they're awesome. Coming up next, we have the Empower Dance Studio. You're gonna get tired again, Wes, because I see some really good dancers behind the truck. Yeah, the Empower Dance Studio build nurtures and fosters natural beauty, instills self-confidence, and reinforces positive images of dancers from all backgrounds. This is Empower Dance Studio. Costa Rica. Yeah, Bill, this is another part of the uh, great Durham, North Carolina sister cities. This one from Costa Rica in the yellow uh, and red trucks driving by. West, we've got the Hillside High School marching hornets. You can hear them coming, and they're going to put on some performance.
about to start dancing. We're getting close here with we the uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I have spotted in the very back of the parade a large man in a beard in a red and white suit. We have come to the finality of the 2019 Durham Holiday Parade. But don't forget, we got Sparky here from the fire department coming first. He's Being leading ushered Santa in by the Durham Fire and Rescue. The men and women of the fire and rescue who take care of the city of Durham and all over Durham County. in and around the city and county of Durham. We've now come to the end and finishing off like no one can. Let's give a huge round of applause. Boys and girls, let me hear you. Santa has arrived. Santa Claus coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. What an exclusive with Santa. Can you get up on his float? Oh, gosh. We got a lot of good boys and girls who are eagerly awaiting his arrival in less than two weeks. Hey, Santa, we're so happy you're here. Talk, talk to the kids and what they can expect from you this year. Well, this year that you can expect good things, and hopefully you've been good. Yeah, has everybody been good? So I see you only brought four of your reindeer. Where are the other guys? Oh, these actually at the uh, the shop. The shop. <laughs> Getting fixed at the shop. Yeah, they, he only needs four when he doesn't have snow. Yeah. There you go. Santa, right, we wish Merry you Christmas. a safe journey. Boys and girls, wave goodbye to Santa. He'll be here in less than two weeks.
And that concludes the 2019 Durham Holiday Parade. We've had more than 100 floats represented in and across the city of Durham. We want to thank all our sponsors for help making today possible, including Durham Parks and Recreation. We want to thank all of you for joining us for the 2019 Durham Holiday Parade. On behalf of everyone at CBS 17, for Bill Ray, I'm Wes Hohenstein. Happy Holidays. Bye!